Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Avada layouts. This integral part of Avada enables you to create a range of custom templates for various areas of your website, giving you total design freedom. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. This powerful feature can be found at Avada Layouts. From the Avada dashboard, you will find links to the Layout Builder as well as the Layout Section Builder. A good place to get started is to understand layouts and layout sections and how they work together. Check out the linked layout docs and videos to learn more, but it's perhaps easiest to think of a layout as simply a box that holds the various sections of the page. A page layout consists of content coming from four sections. A header section, a page title bar section, a content section and a footer section. The layout sections then are templates for those specific areas of the page. So what Avada Layouts allows you to do is to create and assign your own custom layout sections to layouts throughout your website. This can be done globally by assigning layout sections to the global layout or you can create your own conditional layouts that are only used on various pages or post types, etc. And then populate that layout with various layout sections. I have imported the Avada Business Pre-built here. And if we look at a post on the front end, let's just take a second to understand where this content is coming from. Let's start with this section of the page, the header. This is a post we're looking at. So if I quickly go back to layouts, we can see there is a single post pages layout and on the layout conditions, we can see that this layout is being used on all posts. There is no header layout section assigned to the header section here in this particular layout. But if we look at the global layout, we can see there is a header layout section assigned there. And so the header in our post is coming from there. The next section of a page or post is a page title bar section. That's this section here. Again, if we come back to our post layout, this time we can see a page title bar layout has been assigned here. And so all posts are using this page title bar. If I edit the page title bar layout section, we can see it has a background color and a mask, as well as a dynamic title and some nested columns with titles and text blocks. The next section of the page is the content section. And this is the bulk of the content on the page here. So what's happening here is that the actual content, which in this case is in the post, is being displayed through the template of the content layout section. So most of the content is coming from the actual post and the design or layout is coming from the content layout section. If we edit that content layout section, we can see that there are two columns with an image dynamically pulling the post's featured image, the content element pulling the actual post content, as well as a comments element and some other static content in the right hand column. Finally, there is the footer section. If we go back and look at the single post layout, there is no footer layout section assigned here. And so again, all posts are using the footer from the global layout. Here the footer includes the subscription section and the area below that to the bottom of the page. One of the best things about Avada layouts is that these layout sections are all built with the power and familiarity of the Avada builder. And so you have complete freedom with your designs. On top of that, if you want a hand to kickstart your design, Avada Studio provides well over 100 items that can be used to populate your layout sections. Here we can see a large range of headers that can be imported into a header layout section, ready for you to then customize as your own. There are also page title bars, as we can see here, and content layout sections, including ones for posts, products, portfolio items, search, and 404 layouts. And finally, there's also a big range of footers, so not only can you choose which layouts to use and where, you can also get a great start on your designs with professionally pre-built content. See our links below on Avada Studio to learn more about that great tool. OK, so now we have an idea of how layouts can help. Let's look specifically at how to create layouts and layout sections, how to assign layout sections to different layouts, and how to set the conditions of those layouts. What the Avada Layout Builder page initially looks like will depend on your scenario. By default, after install, the global layout is empty and there are no conditional layouts. If you have imported a Nevada pre-built, then part of that import will be a bunch of layouts and layout sections already assigned and ready to go. And if you have used the Nevada setup wizard to create a new site, then you will also have a range of layouts imported for you. Let's start by looking at the global layout. 
As you can see here, this layout has a global header and a global footer assigned. I'll just disconnect this one to show how it's added. So now when I click on the Select Header section in the global layout, I get the option to create a new layout section or to add an existing section. We have the existing layout section. So let's go to Existing and select this layout section called Global Header. This adds the custom layout section to the global layout. And now when we mouse over it, we can either disconnect it or edit it. Global layouts don't have conditions as they apply globally. And so there are also conditional layouts to enable you to assign different layout sections and set conditions for where that layout is used. To go through the process of creating a conditional layout, let's delete this single post page layout and recreate it. Conditional layouts are created simply by giving the layout a name up here and clicking on Create New Layout. The layout is added to the bottom of the page with no assigned layout sections or conditions. And so until they are added, the layout is not in use. You can also move the layouts around by dragging them around with this icon. Any layouts further down the list take precedence over ones higher up. This can be useful in situations where there are overlapping conditions. For example, let's say you have a single posts layout with the conditions set to all posts. And then there is another layout where you have set three or four individual posts as the conditions. Now for these posts, both layouts would apply. And so the order of the layouts would be important. So for this layout, I will just reassign the post PTB layout section and the post content layout section. For a full run through of building the actual layout sections, see the link docs and videos below as you can make a variety of layout sections for different scenarios. Conditions are added at the bottom of the layout. If I mouse over the layout and click manage conditions, the layout conditions open with all possible conditions for when this layout will be used. Now because this is a single post layout here, we want to go to the post tab and select the all posts condition so this layout will be active on all single posts. It's a simple system where you can include or exclude a post type or term, but it's also possible to create complex conditions with this tool. Here the icon has turned green, showing us that we have included the condition of all posts in this layout. If I wanted to, I could further customize the conditions by excluding certain categories or posts or tags, etc. When I exclude a term, it's added to the Manage Conditions column on the right. Let's remove that exclusion so the layout is used on all posts. It won't, however, be used on any pages, portfolio items, or FAQ items, etc. In this way, you can create separate custom layouts for many sections of your site based on the custom post types you see down the left-hand column. What you see here will also depend on what plugins you have installed and therefore what custom post types are registered and available to you. As mentioned, the header and the footer are coming from the global layout. But if, for example, we wanted a different footer just on posts, we would just need to create a new footer layout section and apply it to this layout. Just to be clear, layout sections can be used on multiple layouts, but specific conditions can only be set on one layout. OK, so this layout has been reproduced and is now active. Before I wrap up, let's just look at a couple of the features you'll find when editing layout sections. If I come to the Avada dashboard and Layouts, I can also go to the Layout Section Builder. Here I can see all my layout sections. I'll just edit the Post Content Layout section again. If I go to Add an Element, as we can see, we open in a new tab called Layout Elements. These are all dynamic elements that pull content into the page. You can, of course, also use all the standard design elements in your layout as well, as has been done here. But remember that it's a template and so these will normally be pulling dynamic content. See the link docs and videos on how to make specific layouts, such as blog layouts, WooCommerce product layouts, and even search and 404 layouts. Let's also take a quick look at the layout section options. These are the layout section equivalent of the page options, and here we can make a range of changes to the layout. I'll just head to the layout section tab. Here we can preview our dynamic content using real site content instead of just dummy content to see what our layout will look like. So for this layout section, for example, we would view the dynamic content as a post, and we can even specify which post we'd like to use. I just need to click Preview, and now the post then reloads, showing the layout in context with the page title bar layout section, as well as that specific post content. This can greatly help with the design process. OK, that's it for this video. Hopefully you get the idea that with Avada Layouts, there are almost no limitations for what you can do with custom layouts on your website.
Okay, this concludes our video on how to use Avada layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.